Hmm, what gun should we use? Let's go with a bit of M60. Welcome to the video, my friends. Today I thought we'd do a what's happening with Battlefield kind of update uh, since Season 2 has been launched. And in my honest opinion, I've actually enjoyed this map, this new map, and so far had a lot of fun. I did a straight five hours play on the day of release uh, on stream with a couple of uh, the squaddies, and we had a, a bunch of fun. And I just unlocked the M60, so why not give it a try? But I have seen a lot of reports from other players that uh, it's felt like lag and desync and things have been a bit iffy. And to be honest, I had a couple of moments, which is just a usual battlefield thing, where you just get shot around a corner, or uh, the delay on somebody, somebody you shoot seems a bit off. Uh, that's still there, but it, it, it felt better for me. So I just want to get some live gameplay commentary, get a few kills and see how, how it is. But the map itself, going back to that, uh, the screenshot, it looked kind of underwhelming. Uh, I think uh, a lot of people uh, would agree with me on that from the first screenshot they revealed, just showing the boat and the map from above. It looked kind of bland and just the boat, but it's actually quite diverse. You've got hills you can snipe from, a lot of cover. The choppers are quite good to sweep around these hills and things. And then you've got the boat itself, which is actually really fun to have some close quarter combat in. You've got a lot of zip lines to get access to the boat. You can get access through not this end, but that end. There's a, there's a bottom entry, there's sideways, you can go through the top with all these zip lines. Quite diverse in the play styles you can you can use. You can open these doors here on the top with this button here. Oh, I do like that sign there, no smoking. But this M60 is about to smoke. Let's get down there. You can go through these side walkways as well, which is really good to get a flank. But you can have a lot of fun on the top as well in these containers fighting for dominance of the high ground and uh, this area here very colorful as well good mixture of uh, color really uh, complements the boat with the reddish sand over there in the water and then the blue boat actually looks really nice and quite striking so pretty happy with the map to be honest it's a bit different to exposure which had a lot of verticality to it and this one is uh, obviously not not quite as vertical but it does have have its moments There's one player. There's one. There's two. Reload's not too bad on this. There's another one. So yeah, a lot of, lot of colours about. It does look nice, this map. I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. Whoa! A lot more than I expected from the kind of... Not too exciting screenshot they shared originally. But I suppose it's good to be over... Uh, overly surprised and, and pleased than... Not be. Uh... There's another one. Oh. So don't get me wrong, I've noticed a lot of bugs, like, still, you still get the aircraft that's destroyed, floatiness. I've noticed uh, some scenes that wouldn't look out of place in Exorcist with players floating. Uh, but I haven't seen those uh, the bug where you'd see uh, characters uh, that were dead, but still looked like they were alive, just stood there as like a shell of themselves. So yeah, they have definitely worked on uh, fixing some issues that we've had previously, but it, yeah, it's still still a ways to go. Still got his issues, you're still going to get some weird, look, feels like one frame kills and deaths and weird things happening, but... For the most part, for me at least, it's been okay. Oh, little sneaky boy under there. So it turns out, uh, when you unlock these new weapons, or the M16 and the M60, you have a load of uh, attachments already. So I've put some of those on. We should do a little bit better now. 
iron sights on the M16 aren't the best, so it's pretty hard to get sights on somebody properly. So uh, the M60 is a little bit better, but we should do better now with a reflex. Oh, tick. Yeah, it can get on those heads a little bit easier now. But yeah, with my um, my internet's not the best, so I get kind of higher ping than than a lot of people, and uh, that can result in battlefield games, especially in really weird behaviour. I got you, dude. So yeah, I find a lot of the time with Battlefield, it's just down to your connection to the server, your ping. Uh, if you have a bad connection, a little bit of an iffy connection, you can have all kinds of weird shit happen. But if you have like a super low ping, like 10, like 10 to 16 ping or something like that, it's going to be like you're on LAN and you're going to play so much better than somebody who, say, for me, 33 plus ping. That's about as good as I get on my connection. If I stream, I get 50 ping plus, which is not ideal. In any game, let alone a battlefield game. But as the update goes, it's far better than uh, season one. The actual content in season one, the rewards through the season pass are actually pretty nice. Actually, uh, a lot better than season one was. And I do like this faster paced close quarters combat map. The design is pretty, pretty slick. You can have some really good gunfights. I do like these zip lines as well that go inside the boat and the little portholes up here. Really cool little sneaky get down behind people down there. Or get a quick escape onto the roof if you're in a bit of danger. Wind's picking up. Ooh, got him. These are pretty cool as well, though. I, th I feel like they're a little bit too easy to destroy. Just throw a grenade on it or a Molotov and they're uh, pretty, pretty much done. I'd say probably now, if you've got Battlefield 24, it is a good time to try it again. I think this update actually has done good for the game. Don't get me wrong, there's still a ways to go. And that launch, oh my god. Talk about a reputation destroyer. I'd be embarrassed myself, but I'm having more fun now than I ever have in 2042. So that's got to be something, right? But you can't say this map don't look good. Bit of greenery. Desert, the nice orangey color of the uh, sand. We've got two tornadoes on this map as well. Season, we've got five new weapons, two of them from Battlefield 3, the M60 and the M16, and three new weapons for this season for 2042. New map, one new vehicle, the Ram. New operator. That dude came out of nowhere. But it's a good job. We got medics on our side. The only question left is, is the Easter egg being carried on? Is there an Easter egg somewhere on this map? Thanks for the ride. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on Season 2 for Battlefield 2042. I've enjoyed it thoroughly, uh, so far at least. A couple of hitches, of course, as to be expected with Battlefield at the moment. Anyway, or for quite some time anyway, not just recently. God, that took too long to kill that guy. And McKay's be loving them crates. Ho ho ho. Don't forget to smash that like button, as it really helps the channel get up that algorithm. 
and subscribe if you want to continue to see more content that I create. It's totally free. It doesn't cost a penny. Just lets you know when videos are, uh, are uploaded on your subscription feed. And of course, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate your time. And I'll see you peeps next time. Wait, what the fuck just killed me? Uh...